Hey lovely, it's Kate. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to build this waterfall right here. In my last video I have already talked about the 1000 objects that we got in the latest patch and among these objects is an animated island living waterfall. This object alone does not make a proper waterfall though, so I will explain you step by step how you can build this yourself, including all the cheats you need for this. And without further ado we are going to jump right in now. So the very first thing that you want to do is entering two cheats so we can actually access the brand new objects that were added in the patch. So you have to enter the bb.showHiddenObjects cheat and the bb.showLiveEditObjects cheat. And we have to enter another cheat, the bb.moveObjects cheat, because we are going to place some rocks inside of each other, we are going to move the animated waterfall object inside a pool and all that as you will see, so you definitely have to activate this cheat as well. So now we have activated all the cheats that we need and what we are going to do now is we type in debug into this search bar over here and you just click on any of those, it doesn't matter which one. And now we are in the debug menu and the new objects were added to the debug menu even though you need an additional cheat to make them visible. So I have filtered for island living here, which makes it much easier to find the waterfall. So we just scroll down a little bit. And over here, this is the animated waterfall. So you have a couple of bushes here and it's in between, it's a very faint blue in front of a white background so it can be hard to see so you are looking for this weird looking object over here. So now I'm going to place this waterfall over here. I'm just going to place three because we are going to need three of those so I have them ready on the side over here. And now we build the shape of the waterfall and for this we are using the room tool. I'm building a smallish room over here. The size doesn't really matter. You can build big or small waterfalls as long as you match your waterfall with this animated object because you cannot change the size of this. It doesn't change size even when you try to size it up or down. So now I'm building another room behind it and I'm just going to copy it and I place it on top of each other so I have two rooms stacked on top of each other. And I'm just going to copy it again and over here I have three rooms stacked on top of each other so it's one room two rooms and three rooms. I have used the shortest wall height for all these rooms because this wall height matches the animated waterfall perfectly so I think that this is a good choice. Now we use the pool tool and you simply place the pool inside these rooms and you want to make sure, at least this is how I like to do it, that you leave one tile empty without a pool because we're going to attach a couple of rocks to this, so think that this is kind of a good idea. And now we are finally going to use the animated waterfall object. So we have to bring this waterfall into the correct position and for this you have to make sure that you switch to the Sims 3 camera up here. If you're using the Sims 4 camera it's not working so make sure to switch to this Sims 3 camera. Now I click on my waterfall, I hold down Alt on my keyboard, I hold down my left mouse button and now when I just move the mouse to the left and to the right on my mouse pad it's rotating and I want to rotate it so I can match it to this building that we have just built. So I think that I have done this, I can still change the rotation a little bit and now I'm holding down Alt on my keyboard so it doesn't snap to the grid. And now I'm holding down Control and I'm pressing 9 on my keyboard and this way I can raise this object. You can press 9 to raise an object and 0 to lower an object. So I just kind of want to find the correct position for this. So I'm looking at the top. So when you look at this, this matches with the water surface and it also matches with the water surface down here because I'm going to switch into lift mode quickly you can see that this animation here sits right on top of this water surface this is why I said that I recommend using the short wall height so now 
I'm going to pick up another one and once again I'm holding down ALT on my keyboard. I'm pressing the left mouse button. I'm moving my mouse so I can bring this into the right position. Now I'm holding down CTRL and 9 so I can raise this. And once again I try to find the right height. You just kind of have to try a couple of times but when you look at the top section when I'm pressing 9 uh, 0 I mean and I lower this it disappears and when I'm pressing 9 you see that it kind of appears on the water surface and this around this height is usually correct so I'm positioning this over here and now I'm going to use this and of course I also have to add a pool down here and now once again holding down alt holding down the left mouse button so I can rotate this and now I have to go down to this area so I can bring this into the right position so now I'm going to waste this and you might have to try this a couple of times because we have no, no point of reference here. This is kind of tricky. This is too high, for example. So now we are going to lower it a little bit. And this looks about right. Just going to change the position a little bit. And now we have something like this. And now we change the color of the room. So for this, I'm going to filter for island living once again, and we are going to use this wallpaper down here because it matches perfectly with the rocks that we are going to use for this. Of course, once again, you can make other design choices for this. You can also make a brighter, more light colored waterfall, for example, depending on the rocks and all that. So. Now we have something like this and we're also going to use the matching floor. It's called lava bubble. And now if you own additional packs, I would recommend using this trim for the pool here. It's part of get together, but you don't have to do that. But I just recommend it so you can hide this easy easier, but this is optional. And now we are going to enter the debug section once again and we are filtering for island living and now you scroll down to this area it's all the way down basically and here we have lots of wonderful rocks so i recommend using this one here for this waterfall so when i place it like this you can see that it's kind of in the ground or at the pool at the bottom and once again we are simply holding control and nine and we can raise it and we bring this to the right position you kind of have to find the sweet spot i think it's something like this or this is good because then you kind of see how the water is flowing over the rocks so this is once again down to press a preference but i would bring it into this position and now we are doing the same over here once again we have to raise it and find the correct spot for this area I'm going to position it like this I guess you can also push it back a little bit like this for example and the same up here pressing control and 9 and bringing this wonderful rock into the correct position so now I'm going to use even more of these and I'm sizing it up so I can have a big one over here and I'm going to do the same on this side. Of course you could build a smaller one. This is kind of a massive waterfall and when I position it like this for example when you look at this area here when I position it like this it doesn't look as nice but this way i can kind of hide the edge and it looks more natural and i'm going to place this big one in the back 
and I like to use this wonderful rock that is also part of Island Living. I just have to quickly find it. Ah, it's over here. So I will size this down a little bit and I will place it like this. So this way it looks as if the waterfall is kind of coming out a cave or something. And now I'm once again using the little rock or the big rock <laughs> that we've used over here already and I'm rotating it and I just place a couple of them so it looks natural. You kind of want to be a bit random with these so it looks more natural and not to plan kind of. I'm also going to use this rock for example. This is not rocket science. You kind of place a couple of rocks and you make it look natural and you kind of adjust it to your taste. I'm also going to add one of these rocks up here because this way once again looks more random and natural so it's not just this type of rock that we have used a couple of times. I'm going to place it over here. I'm also going to place another of those up here so I can hide the edge. You see the edge over here? This is why I said it's also optional because if you don't have this pack you might have a completely white trim but then you simply place the rock like this and it's not really visible. So you really only need a living and base game for this. So now I'm using another one over here and another one over here. So I have something like this. Also, if you once again own Get Together, I can also recommend using this watercolor because it just looks so tropical and so, I don't know, just so like a fairy tale. It's, it's perfect, beautiful blue water. Now we go back to the debug section. Filtering for island living and then when you scroll down and up a bit you see multiple new flowers, bushes that we got. This one for example, no not this one, we got this one before I think this one. But there's a couple, there are a couple of new things and the good thing is that these debug objects are for free, they only cost zero simoleons so it's just kind of perfect and then you could just place a couple of those plants and trees over here depending on your taste to make it look tropical and of course you could also use this method to build a much smaller waterfall and you could just add it to a mansion. I mean this is like a huge waterfall now maybe something for a park or something but it's the same method if you just build a much smaller one for a mansion for something that is connected to a pool. Of course you could also remove these for example. And now when you just add a bigger pool then you could have just uh, a pool area with a waterfall. This removed the animated waterfall right now but you know what I mean. So you could also add this to a mansion. So this is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions then just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you and I will help you. I hope that you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.